Hey everyone, Insane Darkness here. And you might be noticing something strange. I've already uploaded my video on Danger Zone. But I had a problem with that one. You see, the Orspawn vs. Danger Zone comparison project was supposed to compare the features... It was supposed to compare the experiences of the Orspawn mod for Minecraft to Danger Zone with Orspawn. But that Danger Zone video didn't really touch on much of or spawn but the closest we got was getting killed by bees and so today I seek to fix that we're still playing danger zone but we're in the crystal dimension I do believe I went in here in Minecraft? But... Like, earlier I felt like... My Danger Zone video wasn't really substantial. It was just me bashing on Danger Zone. And, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I like Danger Zone either. Honestly, in my opinion, this game doesn't need to exist. But, I suppose work's already been done on it. And I guess the developers sort of dug himself into a hole. Or maybe he just really sees something in this that I don't. And you know how you had a clear view? Of the depths well here you can like it's still there but it doesn't look as good as what Minecraft did and yes danger zone still has that weird momentum when you move And that takes forever to break a block thing. Oh, lovely. It's Mantis Swarm O'Clock! Keep in mind, I'm equipped with full pink tourmaline. And I'm on the lowest difficulty setting. If you were playing this on normal... You'd be screwed. Not to mention the buzzing of the mantises gets a bit annoying. But I figured going into the crystal dimension, which was the most unique dimension in all of Orspawn,
I figured that should provide a more definitive example for what I'm going for here. This is Orspawn's Crystal Dimension. You right-click it, you, you access the dimension by right-clicking on a termite with an empty inventory, and you're transported here. The one thing that does baffle me is... The apple cows still very much look like Minecraft cows. And the player models look very much like Minecraft. Okay, I don't even think most Minecraft bootlegs even try to replicate the player models. I mean... It just sort of comes off as a... Rip-off. Well, with certain assets being lifted straight from Minecraft. Like, this is very clearly a Minecraft cow. But it's the crystal apple cow. You know, this makes sense in Orspawn for Minecraft. But with Danger Zone, I'm surprised that They Call Me Danger didn't even tweak the more Minecraft the more Minecraft looking aspects of the mod to better fit Danger Zone. Okay. That's like saying I had a Mario fan game. With an enemy called the Robo Goomba. You know, your standard Mario Goomba, but with a tough metal shell. It won't be defeated with a jump or a fireball, but it's still a Goomba. Now, say I've decided that... Actually making said game in any sort of engine. I find a Byzantine clusterfuck. And so I opt to create my own engine. It's, and the game, which is supposed to be a EULA-free, modding-friendly platform, is basically just a, just a clone of some, just a clone of some sort of... Mario game maker with all the Mario stuff gone. Okay, and now I'm posing everything as original. But there's just one problem. 
the Robo Goomba hasn't been changed at all. Okay, someone's gonna go in there, play the game, and that Robo Goomba's gonna be staring them right in the face. And the player sprite still shows somebody that looks like a plumber. Okay, maybe not the best of comparisons, but the point should still be understandable. Okay, why would they call me danger? cram or spawn into his own game, but not even change some of the more blatantly Minecraft aspects of it. Just because the game plays very similarly to Minecraft. Except slightly crappier. And I still stand by my point about the Danger Zone game itself, this is just a shittier version of Minecraft. Ow. 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 There's allegedly a command Ow. line. Uh. But no commands Ow. will actually work in that command line. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. You can't Ooh. even tweak game uh. rules. Ow. It's like I'll probably sound like a Ow. scrub for saying this, but I've always played Minecraft with keep inventory on and mob griefing off because it doesn't quite feel fair that your progress can just straight up be eviscerated by one death. Okay, especially if you die in lava. And, well, I was kind of hoping that Danger Zone would allow me to enable at least keep inventory. Mob griefing I'm not so sure about because, well, it's not Minecraft and Mojang owns the creeper as a Minecraft mob, so we can't just put creepers in there. You can't just try to lift everything from Minecraft. Okay. The reason I'm in the crystal dimension is because it's, it was the most unique dimension in all of Orspawn that I thought would really put a good focus on things here. Because in Minecraft, the crystal dimension looked great. You know, I found it pretty cool how you could see through the ground, and it was like having an x-ray mod installed. Or x-ray resource pack. But in Danger Zone, the see-through works of the crystal dimension are a bit different. Yeah, you can see through the crystal blocks, like the crystal grass and the kyanite. But you can't see the ores 
unless they're touch unless there's a surface exposed that isn't a block for example while underground I could see some pink tourmaline because it was in a river no such luck with tiger's eye Okay, I think that might be... That could pop. And again, I don't quite remember what Tiger's Eye looked like. Also, another weird thing about how the crystal stuff is implemented. Okay, Kyanite is clearly referred to as Kyanite. Pink Tourmaline is renamed to Pink Crystal, but when you get to the tools, the Kyanite Axe is called the Crystal Axe, while the Pink Tourmaline Axe is called the Kyanite Axe. And what I thought was Tiger's Eye was actually Ancient Dried Fairy. And what the hell? It would seem that swarm of mantises cut through my armor like it was cream cheese or something. Except this armor would probably taste like shit on a bagel. Warning, I do not condone the practice of trying to cut through crystal and spread it on a bagel as if it were cream cheese. It tastes like shit, and you might run the risk of cutting your mouth. Don't do it. Okay. Okay. Because if, cause if Beavis and Butthead had to warn people, that stove gas will kill you you know, because apparently, you know, it was on the cartoon Ooh. to say Ooh. don't do this because apparently some parents were apathetic as shit and you know Beavis couldn't be a pyromaniac but why the fuck are we talking about Beavis and Butthead when we're playing a shitty Minecraft clone I don't know Maybe so I can find something interesting to talk about. It's like, I don't hate this dimension. But I can already play through this dimension in Minecraft Ow. with the Ore Spawn mod. Ow. I can play through this dimension uh. with the quality of life features available in Minecraft. I can go through the crystal dimension without this weird running into block knockback without this weird ass Sonic the Hedgehog momentum in a block based sandbox you know where I can where I at least have the option of keeping my inventory. Where I can at least craft a chest with my crystal wood. Let's look at this. Oh! 
Oh, and using the workbench is also a clusterfuck. Okay, say I wanted to... Say I wanted to actually make a workbench. Okay, you can't just drag it here. Nor can you right-click drag. No, 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 you have to do this. You have to literally... Separate... That particular item... Into up to four stacks. That's a bit stupid, in my opinion. Most of Danger Zone's attempts at being different just make it look inferior. But going through the Crystal Dimension for a couple nights in Danger Zone... What would I say? Would I rather go through this in Minecraft or Danger Zone? Well, I think the choice is obvious. Did you see how long it took me to go through that Kyanite block with a pink tourmaline pickaxe? Having to repeatedly click to mine on the block Just makes things go way more slow than it needs to be. Like, that same action in Minecraft was way faster. Like, everything in Danger Zone is just way slower than in Minecraft. Traversing terrain is slow because you have to account for your sonic momentum and running into blocks knocking you back. Like, climbing up, like, getting out of that tunnel is simple enough. Oh, ah, oh. But Ow. everything else, well, you'd rather just get as many drunk people as you can find and try to reestablish the former Roman Empire. Like, the one thing that's faster in Danger Zone is the walking. Because you run like Sonic the Hedgehog. It's like... It's like you took a shot of five-hour energy... Except... You took a hunt, except you took enough shots of five-hour energy to fill a beer mug, and then you just chugged it, and now you can see sounds and taste colors. So, again, would I recommend Danger Zone for the Orspawn experience or Minecraft for the Orspawn experience? About the only pro Danger Zone has is that Danger Zone 
has all of Orspawn's features because, well, they actually implemented the princess growing in Orspawn for Danger Zone. In Minecraft, she's just a toddler forever while her brother, the prince, could theoretically grow up into another king if you enabled it in the configuration. But by default, he'll just be the young adult prince and basically become the most badass pet ever. Your reward for defeating the ultimate super boss. But they still wreak havoc on your shit. Okay, Orspawn does not play nice with certain things. Okay. Oh. Oh. Orspawn ah. may have enough content to be its own game. But that also makes it the calamity of Minecraft mods. You know, using the average gear from other mods against or spawn content. You're gonna get clapped more than a lamp controlled by a Darth Vader clapper. that you bought at fucking Rite Aid because you saw it on a commercial at 5 a.m. Except you didn't buy that from Rite Aid. At least in Vegas, I haven't seen a single Rite Aid. Like, do Rite Aids even still exist? Ow. Ow. Like, if someone views this video and they live somewhere where Rite Aids still exist, let me know if Rite Aids still exist over there. Because every single Rite Aid I've seen, you can only tell it was a Rite Aid because all the Rite Aid stuff was stripped bear, but you can still see the vague shape of a Rite Aid sign. But then a few months later, it gets replaced by by some sort of general market that gets replaced again. But yeah. Okay, if you want to play or spawn, just play the version available on Minecraft. Okay, you might have to resort to shady mod re-uploading sites like 9Minecraft. But it's much more bearable than getting this shitload of a fuck called Danger Zone. Okay, just make sure you have AVG antivirus installed and scan your files for viruses before running anything. And if it says it's a virus, don't open it. I've heard mod re-uploading websites do carry viruses. So stay careful out there. As for me, I'm getting the fuck out of the danger zone 
Okay. You know, I took culinary. I should know that you really don't want to be in the danger zone. This game ranges from 41 to 119 degrees Fahrenheit. Bacteria will grow on this very easy. Next time you see me, I'll have thought of something to do. That isn't this shit. So until next time, bye.